sorry lamp how's it going guys welcome back today we are going to be doing a favors video i can't even wrap my head around the fact that it's already the the end of august like how did that go by so fast so today i'm going to be going through some of my favorite things from the last month i have obviously a bunch of makeup products here but i also will be talking a little bit about some like lifestyle-esque products so outside of the makeup realm which will be fun and i hope you guys are going to enjoy it if you guys want to let me know some of the things that you've been loving over the last month it doesn't even have to be makeup related let me know down below in the comments i would love to hear them of course hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy favorites and subscribe if you want to join the fam all right let's get into it first three products that i wanted to talk about are all mascaras i have been cycling between these three mascaras the entire month i know that's a lot of mascaras to be using in one month but it's kind of about time because i feel like over the last i don't even know like very long time i've really only been using two mascaras and that's the hourglass caution and the elia limitless and these three mascaras have actually made me kind of forget not forget completely but just at least over this last month forget about those other two mascaras that i love so much so that definitely says something so two of these are actually two b mascaras I have the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara, as well as the new M Cosmetics Pick Me Up. So if you don't know what tubing mascaras are, they're probably the best types of mascaras to exist. I actually wish that every single mascara formula was a tubing mascara. At the end of the day, when you take off your makeup, how much do you resent taking off your mascara? It's the biggest pain in the ass. You always get raccoon eyes. You always have to go in like multiple times to fully get that mascara off of your lashes. But with a tubing mascara, you literally just need water. And that's what makes it so cool. So you take a little bit of warm water and you just massage it over your eyes. And then the mascara will literally just clump off into your hands. Also beyond that, you are not going to experience any smudging or flaking throughout the day because the mascara only removes with water and it removes by just kind of falling off in clumps rather than smudging all over your face. So even if you have just like a, a gentle crying session, you don't really have to worry about your mascara like going all over your face because even if it does come off, you're just going to be able to literally like pick it off of your skin and flick it away and you're not going to have any smudging. So it's going to be like it never <laughs> so anyways back to these two mascaras these two guys are actually both very very similar they do have pretty similar wands they're not exactly the same the hourglass wand for example is a little bit longer and the bristles are slightly shorter whereas the m cosmetics one does have more of like a spikier and slightly shorter um, brush but because these brushes are pretty similar i do feel like they do give you kind of like a similar effect i find both these mascaras are kind of just great all around mascaras they give you good length good volume good separation and i also love the fact that i could put these on my lower lashes and because the bristles are nice and short on both of these wands it doesn't go everywhere and it also isn't going to smudge because of that tubing formula right now on my lashes i am actually wearing the m cosmetics mascara um so here's what that looks like on in case you're curious but as you can see it just gives a great lash look so these are the two main mascaras that i've kind of been cycling between over the last month and then this mascara over here has been really great on the days where i don't really want to fully get ready but i kind of just want to add a little bit of definition to my eyes but nothing too crazy the l'oreal bambi eye mascara in the shade the color's not in here but it's just the dark brown shade is so perfect for every day. I only really discovered it recently and I can't believe it's taking me so long to discover this formula because I really feel like this is one of the best everyday formulas. Um, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the bristles on this brush that really just make your lashes look so feathery and defined. It doesn't really add too much volume it doesn't really add too much length, but it adds a lot of definition to your lashes. And I love the fact that this is a brown color because again, it's just a little bit softer than a typical black mascara. Here is what that one looks like. It's another short plasticky spiky wand, but this one is definitely a little bit fatter than the other two that I showed you guys. So now let's talk about a brow product that I definitely didn't really expect that I would be talking about in a favorites. This is the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Duo in the shade Dark Brown. So I actually bought this in the Sephora Shop With Me video. And you can see in that video, I was really apprehensive about picking this up because it is a pricier brow product. And I just don't ever really feel like there's much of a difference between brow products for it to warrant like a really, really high price tag. This particular brow pencil does kind of justify the 
price slightly because you are actually getting three products in one. You get, of course, the brow pencil, but you also get a brow gel on the other end. And then you also get a refill of the pencil with the product. So again, you get three products in one, which is really great. I really, really love everything about this brow pencil. Um, the brow gel in particular has been kind of like my go-to for day to day. I recently got my brows threaded, which, oh my God, blessed because my brows really needed it. It had been like five or six months since the last time I got my brows done. And when I do get my brows done or threaded, I actually find I have to fill in my brows a lot less just because the shape is kind of perfect. And so what I'll do instead is I'll just go in with a brow gel. And so this has been my go-to brow gel. And I really like this because it is a tinted brow gel, so it will add some color to my brows. But I also find in a way it also makes my brows look a little bit thicker and in turn it just makes them look like I filled them in with all of that and so I'll pretty much just use that for day to day and then if I'm feeling like I want a little bit more of a defined brow I will go in with the pencil and just kind of fill in some strokes and it works perfectly um, and I also really really love the shade of this brow pencil the shade of a brow product is always the most important because I feel like that's what's really going to make your brows look natural or not natural and this color matches my brows so perfectly it's like perfectly neutral it leans a little bit on the cooler side so it just works with my hair color perfectly and yeah just overall I, I really really love this on my brows today I am just wearing um, the brow gel so you can see what it looks like and it does a great job of holding as well so next i want to talk about one of my favorite go-to lip combos as of late honestly on most days i really don't wear lip color i'll just go in with lip balm especially because i'm not really going places but on the days that i want to just like you know dress up a little bit i want to put on a lip color it's been a nude one and it has been this combo right over here since i am wearing a red lip i'm just going to insert a clip of me with this combo on so you guys can see what it looks like. But it consists of two products, the Nude 6 Magnetic Lip Plush Paint in the shade Waikiki Rose, as well as a classic, the Buxom Gloss in White Russian. There's really not much for me to say about it other than I just think it's such a perfect combo. I do really like the Nude 6 Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. They're beautiful because they're matte, but they're not drying at all. They're very, very lightweight on the lips. So if you do prefer more of a matte formula, but you don't like the way matte formulas typically feel, these are really beautiful. And you can also use them on your cheeks as well. And then topped with Buxom Right Russian. I mean, this is like a classic lip gloss that I've recently rediscovered. It's just a perfect light, light nude pink. And I find that it complements the Nude 6 color pretty perfectly. So that's why I've been pairing the two together. So this has definitely been my go-to lip combo, but I also have another lip product that I have been really, really loving. And it's probably not gonna be a surprise that I'm mentioning it because I can't stop talking about these lip colors. <laughs> and so it's gonna be a little bit redundant, but some Maybelline Lip Door Glosses. These glosses are so beautiful, by far one of my most favorite recent finds. I just love everything about them. The texture is really nice, they're not sticky, um, they're super, super glossy and shiny, and they have some really good pigmentation to them. Like they're, they're the right gloss texture where it's not too sheer, but sheer enough so you can wear them on their own or you can layer them. It's, they're just perfect. Came out with some really great colors. I have a couple in my collection, but Reef really is my favorite. This is really pretty kind of like peachy pink, kind of similar to uh, the vibe of the last color combo that I just showed you guys, but um, I've just been wearing this kind of on its own and it just gives the perfect amount of color to the lips, a lot of gloss, a lot of sheen, and it's just so comfortable to wear. Everything about it, I really, really love. So again, I'll put a little clip of me wearing it so you guys can see what it looks like, but these are beautiful and I just got a kiss mark on it. Oof. So now let's talk about concealers. I have two here that I've been switching between for day to day, the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer as well as the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. So let's first talk about the Milk one. This is a concealer that I admittedly have spoken so much shit about in the past. I even mentioned this as one of my least favorite concealers in a five best and five worst like a while ago. I don't know what happened honestly because I really disliked this concealer so much. I remember thinking it was so dry and cakey and I just didn't really like the way that it looked underneath the eyes. And then I tried it again probably about a year ago and I kind of fell in love with this formula. It's exactly the opposite of what I remember this concealer being, which is very confusing to me. I don't know if they reformulated this or if I was just like not using it right when I first started using this concealer. I don't know what happened. But all I know is that I really love this formula and recently I've kind of just rediscovered it again and have fallen back in love with it for every day. It is the concealer that I am wearing underneath my eyes today and I think the reason why I really like this product is because it just looks so 
natural looking underneath the eyes. I find that every time I put on this concealer, it just makes my under eyes look really nice and hydrated and it doesn't look heavy at all, but yet it still does have some really nice coverage to it. I would say this is like, a light to medium coverage. It's not completely full, but it's enough where it's going to cover up your dark circles. I'll zoom you guys in real close so you can see. And I feel like my under eyes look pretty flawless, dare I say? Like it doesn't look like you can see my dark circles through the concealer. And you see that nice little glow that the concealer has? That's what I really like about it. And it has that glow, but it's not sticky or super emollient. So I don't find that it like slips or fades really quickly throughout the day. And then we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. This is a bit of like a newer discovery. So this has been my go-to again for like my no makeup makeup days. So on the days that I'm wearing that like Bambi eye mascara it are the same days that I'm wearing the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Concealer. This is definitely a very light coverage concealer, very suitable for every day if you do want something that's really nice and lightweight. What I love so much about this product is the fact that it has such a hydrating consistency to it. And when you blend it out on the skin, it kind of gives a similar effect to the um, Milk Makeup Flex Concealer, but it, even more so, it has just this really nice sheen to it. So I put it on the back of my hand right here. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it as a concealer, so it's obviously blending into my skin, but it does have that nice natural sheen. So it just makes your under eyes look really healthy looking, which I personally really love as somebody with dry skin. I will take a sheen like that any day of the week. And it kind of just disappears into the skin as well. It really is not a heavy concealer like in the slightest. So again, I've been really liking this on my no makeup makeup days when I just want to add a little something, but nothing too crazy. This has just been perfect. So. Okay, so the last makeup product that I want to talk about is kind of cheating a little bit because I only started using this fairly recently, like within the last week and a half, but I've just been using it so much since I've had it in my life that I wanted to mention it in today's video because it is brand new. So Fenty came out with um, some new snap shadows from their Snap Shadow collection. And this one is in the shade Nine Wine. So it's this teeny tiny little palette with six different shades. You have three metallics and three mattes. It's a super simple palette. It's not really anything too mind blowing, so to speak, but there's something just so nice about a small little palette that fits in the palm of your hand that really has everything that you need to create a beautiful look. And not just create like one simple look, but to create multiple different looks. I just really love that. I almost prefer these smaller, more condensed palettes to like really, really large palettes just because it makes your job so much easier. When you have less choice, it's actually so much easier to create different types of looks because you just gotta get creative with what you have in front of you. And I think that's a great way to also test your creativity. And I think that this palette really has everything that you need to create a bunch of different looks. The eyeshadow that I'm wearing on my eyes today, I mean, it's really not much, but it was created by using two, actually three shades in the palette. I used the matte brown, the matte cream, and then I also used this shade right here on my lid. But with these shades, you could totally also create a pretty smoky look. Like you have this matte purple in here, you have these two deeper metallics as well. So there are options, which is really fantastic. And I think to have a small little palette that you can really take from day to night is so great. So that's all I have to talk about for my makeup products. So now let's jump into some other beauty products and then my lifestyle products. So I have a hair product here that really caught me by surprise. I really didn't expect to love this as much as I actually do, but I've been using this pretty much every single day. So this is the Kerastase Soleil Mermaid Oil. So when I first got this, I didn't fully understand what it was. I thought initially it was just like a hair oil, but this is actually supposed to be a hair oil that also gives your hair texture as well. And this is very different from any other hair oil that I've used. Normally the hair oils that I put on my hair are a little bit on like the thicker side and I find they, they do give my hair a lot of beautiful shine, but they also simultaneously will weigh my hair down, which can be a little bit annoying. And I find that it does kind of make my hair sometimes a little bit dirtier, a little bit quicker. This oil though, it's like one of the best oils that I've tried for my hair. I find that it's so lightweight and I could put so much of the stuff into my hair and it doesn't really make my hair feel dirty. It definitely doesn't weigh my hair down or make it feel like gross, oily, or heavy. And it also makes my hair so unbelievably shiny. And like I said, this is a texturizing oil. So this is also supposed to give kind of like a 
PC defined texture to the hair, which it does totally do, especially when my hair is curly. Oh my God, this product is amazing for giving my hair that shine that sometimes my curls lack and also giving my hair a lot of definition. Um, and it is nice because it does come in a little spray. And so you're able to just kind of like spritz this on your hair. You don't even have to put it in your hand and get your hands all oily. By the way, this is the smaller bottle. Um, it does actually come in a larger bottle. And when I do run out of this, I will absolutely be getting the larger one. Um, but I didn't put it in my hair today yet. So I wanted to show you guys what this can do to it. So I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll just spray it in my hair directly. So you wanna make sure that you shake it up and I hold it pretty far away if I am spraying it directly. And I'm just going to give a few spritzes throughout my hair. This also smells incredible, by the way. Kind of has a cotton candy-esque scent. So there you go. I've been using this product to death. It makes my hair super, super shiny. So next up, I actually have a furniture favorite, which is a little bit different. I don't think I've ever really spoken about a favorite piece of furniture on my channel, but I am so excited about this um, new outdoor patio set that I got from Article. I had to share with you guys. So Article was generous enough to gift me with this furniture and I'm so incredibly thankful. I've been living on this furniture ever since I received it. So I had this porch that I wasn't really using because I never really got around to getting any porch furniture for it. Especially when summer hit, I really wanted to spend as much time outside as possible. So I wanted to finally outfit this this outdoor space with some furniture. I've always heard really great things about Article and these are my very first Article pieces um, for my own home. And so I was really, really excited. So I picked up the Copeland sofa as kind of like the main lounge piece for this space. And then I also got the Halden round side table as my little coffee table. And I really like this table because it has like this brush finish to it. So I find that even though it is outside, it never looks dirty. It's really, really easy to clean off. Um, and the brush finish doesn't like attract any any dirt or fingerprints, which I think is definitely key, especially for an outdoor piece. Probably my favorite piece that I got is the Tana stool. This can be used as like a side table or as like a little stool as well. And it's this very heavy piece that just looks and feels super luxe. And it also really complements the two chairs that I got, which are called the Tula lounge chairs in Lily White. Um, and these, I feel like contrast really, really nicely with the couch that I got, which is a little bit more modern. I feel like it does kind of add a bit more of like a bohemian flair to the space. And then the last piece that I got was the Olera Ottoman in Whisper Gray. And this is just a great piece to put your feet up on when you're on the couch or have somebody sit there as well. So I thought it was nice and versatile. Just overall, this space has just been my little sanctuary over the last little bit. Like at nighttime, I have this routine where I go out with my with my tea. I maneuver the pillows a little bit so that I could sit on the couch lengthwise. And then I put little twinkly lights on my balcony and I turn those on so it's really nice and romantic and cozy. And I just like sit, I drink my tea, I go on like my computer, I do work out there. And it's just been so nice. <laughs> so that has definitely been a huge, huge, huge favorite of mine over the last month. I can't wait to continue using it even in like the colder months. I think it's gonna be so nice and cozy to be just like chilling out there with a little blanket. I'm super excited. So I'll link all the pieces that um, I got in the description box down below in case you wanna check it out. By the way, just to make it super clear, this is not sponsored by Article, um, but like I said, they did gift me these pieces. So now moving on to a drink that I've been loving. Now I have been detoxing off of coffee. Now that was for a couple reasons, but mainly because I found that I was getting really dependent on coffee and when I wouldn't drink it, I would get horrible headaches and I was just really sick of it. And so while I was ready to give up coffee, I was not ready to completely give up caffeine. And so I was doing a lot of research and I was talking to a lot of people. Pretty much everybody recommended matcha, which I have been absolutely adoring. And I've been drinking this every single morning. And honestly, I almost enjoy this more than I enjoy coffee, which says a lot because I really love coffee. <laughs> if you guys wanna see how I make my matcha, I did do kind of like a whole tutorial on my Instagram story. So you can definitely check it out there if you want to, it's in my highlights. So this guy is from Jade Leaf and it is organic Japanese matcha, ceremonial grade. And I really love the flavor of this. It's not bitter at all. It's super creamy, it froths really, really well. And it's just delicious, it's so good. I've pretty much been having it every single morning. And honestly, like I wake up in the morning and I look forward to having my cup of tea. And for a long time, that was coffee for me. And I never thought that I would find something that would be able to replace it. That would give me that same excitement in the morning to make me want to jump out of bed to have 
like a cup of a liquid, <laughs> but this has totally replaced it for me. And honestly, I wasn't really planning on um, cutting out coffee forever. This was kind of more of a temporary thing just to just reset my body and just to kind of stop the dependency in its tracks a little bit. I can't even believe how much better I feel ever since I cut out coffee because I can go an entire day without drinking a cup of coffee. I don't get headaches anymore. I find that I don't get my afternoon crashes. For a really long time at like 3 or 4 p.m. I would pretty much need to take a nap because my body was just so exhausted. And I never thought that it could have anything to do with coffee and I'm not sure if it still has anything to do with coffee, but is it a coincidence that since I stopped drinking coffee, those crashes stopped happening? I don't know, you tell me. By the way, I have been seeing all of your posts on Instagram showing me that you have been uh, having some matcha lattes as well, which I really love seeing. So keep sending me the pictures because I really enjoy seeing all of your little creations. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is actually a jewelry favorite and it's the jewelry that I'm wearing on my ears right now. So if you've been staring at my earrings this whole video wondering where they're from, I'm about to tell you. So Lily Clasp is probably one of my favorite jewelry designers. I have been a big, big fan of her jewelry for a couple years now, and she recently released her summer collection, and I jumped on it so quickly because all of the pieces that she released were absolutely beautiful. What I've always really liked about Lily Clasp is that her pieces always feel very high quality. Don't get me wrong, they're not super cheap pieces, but they're not super extravagant, especially for the quality that you are getting. So everything that I'm wearing on my ears right now is from Lily Clasp. I have these two cuffs, which actually came in a little set, and then these hoops. And I have not been able to stop wearing this whole set because I just feel like it's like equally classy and also really edgy. What's really nice about these two pieces is that they are cuffs. So you don't have to have a piercing already there in order to be able to wear them. So it's gonna look like you have really cool edgy piercings without any of the pain. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to the quality. It's like a really nice, thick, chunky piece. It's even a little bit weighty. These guys especially I find do look really nice and luxurious and kind of like expensive. They do have a really nice weight to them and they're very, very sparkly, especially in person. I really feel like the camera doesn't quite pick it up as much as it does in person, but I just think these are such beautiful great and great everyday hoops. All right guys, that finishes off today's video. Those are all the products and things that I've been loving throughout the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know all of your thoughts down below, some of the things that you've been loving in August. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.